show you guys the anatomy of a half a million dollar a month sales funnel. Not a year, a half a million dollars a month. Now I don't know about you, but uh, most of us are all working on different sales funnels and it's always nice to see something that's really working well. And so I'm going to show you guys a sales funnel for one of our products. This is a supplement we created called Neurocell. And when we first launched it uh, a couple months ago, it was doing all right. It got to the point where it was making about twenty or thirty thousand dollars a month. And that's how the initial sales funnel was. But we did a bunch of things and we tweaked it and changed it. And within about two months, we got to three hundred thousand dollars a month and then five hundred thousand dollars a month. And it just keeps growing from there. And so I'm going to show you guys kind of behind the scenes of how this works. And I know that most of you guys probably don't have supplements. A lot of you guys probably have written books. Uh, you have information products, things like that. And so the concepts I'm going to be sharing with you will work for pretty much anything. But I'm going to show you the anatomy of our sales funnel that is a supplement right now, just so you kind of get an idea. So first we have the supplement. And the first thing we did is we created a, a sales letter. Now I know a lot of you guys, some of you guys are doing sales videos, sales letters, but for this market, our sales letter actually converted the best. So this is what the sales letter looks like. And so this is the first step in our sales funnel. Okay. All right. And that's, the, that's where it kind of began. That's where most of you guys, I know you start as well, is usually you start with some kind of sales video, some kind of sales letter. And so they purchased it. And after they purchased the product, then they're taken to a thank you page. All right. Now I want to ask you, how many of you guys, is that what your sales funnel kind of looks like right now? Sales message, thank you page, right? And that's what it was when we first launched Neurocell. Now we launched that way and we started driving traffic and it was doing, it was doing well. We got to the point where, like I said, it was doing about twenty to $30,000 a month. But we wanted to figure out a way to, to grow that and to, to make it bigger. And so then we started tweaking with this funnel and playing with it and trying a bunch of different things. So um, I'm going to walk you guys through the process of, of everything we tested and tried to make the sales funnel work. So the first thing we did is we went back to my internet marketing basics to Internet Marketing 101, we said, hey, we probably should try out a squeeze page. And so we built a squeeze page, and uh, this is kind of what it looks like right here. And we put that squeeze page out here in front of the sales letter. Now, what was nice about this is we started driving all the traffic to a squeeze page. We started building a list, and then when we had that list, we were able to follow up with the customers over and over and over again. And so those who didn't buy it the first time they saw this, a lot of times within day two, day three, day seven in the sequence, they'd start buying. And instantly, our, our income started growing and started increasing. So we were really happy, but then we started thinking, like, what else can we do to this funnel? What else can we tweak and can we change to make it even more successful? So the next thing we did is we came and we added our very first upsell. Sometimes we call these one-time offers, OT. Uh, but it was an upsell. And so for this, uh, for this sales funnel, what we decided is that people that were buying Neurocell, they probably want more Neurocell. And so our first upsell was really simple. It was just um, they could buy a packet of six bottles at a huge discount. And so we put that up there and that became the very first upsell. Okay. Now, I remember when we first did this, we were nervous, like, is it going to work? Are people going to buy more of the exact same thing? And, and uh, we didn't really know. But in this situation, it worked awesome. On average, we get, uh, um, I think it's about 23, 24% of the people who buy a bottle here end up buying six more bottles on the immediate upsell, which is kind of exciting. Now, for you, this upsell, again, if you're an information product, it doesn't have to be more of the same thing. A lot of times, it's kind of the next product in your product funnel, the next thing you want to sell them. Okay? So that's how we started first upsell was this. And then then again, our income started increasing, our funnel started working better, and we started thinking, you know, what other upsells, what other products can we, can we create? And so we went out there and we found online people that were selling some nerve cream. They, they, uh, our customers could rub it on their legs and it would, it would help them. And so we decided to, to make our own. So we made our own nerve cream, we called it Neuramend, and we created an upsell where we were going to sell three bottles of, of Neuramend. And that became the second upsell, the second OTO, whatever you want to call it, in the actual sales funnel. We added that in and it started working really, really good. We had a big percentage of people who were buying that. Um, but, but it wasn't as big as I kind of hoped. And so we came back and I said, I wonder if it's because there's so many bottles, you know, but we like the fact that we can increase the price and sell it for a higher, a higher uh, dollar amount. So maybe we add a down sell where we can, uh, instead of having three bottles, they can buy just one bottle. And so that became our down sell. All right, and so there's the down sell we added. And what was awesome is a huge percentage of people who didn't buy the three bottle pack, they ended up buying the one bottle pack, and it was awesome for our, for our conversion rates and for how much money we made throughout this entire sales funnel, okay? And so that is kind of um, where it ended right now. All right, and so this is, again, after they would go through that, then we take them to the thank you page to show them 
exactly what they had purchased. All right, so this is a, this was our sales funnel for a while, and it was doing awesome. We started increasing how much money we were making. And for me, I always look at a sales funnel like this. I want to create something where I can put a dollar in advertising back here, and the customer will come through, they'll go through all these things, and on the back side, if I can get $2 to jump back out, suddenly I've got a funnel that, that's going to make me a bunch of money, right? And so we're doing this, and it was literally the first time we tested this, we put a dollar of advertising in, and we'd make $3 back out. Now, I don't know about you, if I was, if I was to give you a dollar and you gave me $3 back, how often would you, would you do that? Okay, I want to do it all day long, right? And as soon as we got the metrics down where this funnel worked like that, we were able to increase very quickly again from $20,000 a month to two months later, $300,000 a month to $500,000 a month and just keep growing it and making it bigger and bigger. Now, a couple of other cool uh, tweaks or things we added to this, to this funnel to work, that work really, really good. The first one here is we added an exit pop. Now this exit pop was a little bit different. Um, our audience was a little bit older and so we knew a lot of them were nervous about ordering on the internet and so we added two options. One where they could call a phone number and have, take the order from a sales rep or number two they could go and order it from Amazon. So we added this here as an exit pop. People who came here and they left, we had this exit pop. And right now, about 20% of our sales are coming from the phone, and another uh, probably 15% or so are coming from people buying on Amazon. So that just increased our, uh, our orders by, what's that, about 30% or so, just by adding that first exit pop. Okay, so uh, again, a huge another thing we added to the sales phone to make it get even bigger. And then we decided, hey, you know, people that aren't buying here and they're not buying here, you know, right now our, our pricing, they can buy one, three, or four bottles. Like we need a, we need a way where they can get in and they can try it uh, cheaper and faster just to see that it works because we've had such great success. We knew that if they tried it, it would work. So again, here was our first supplement. So then we came back and we created a trial version where you, uh, it was a bottle, it was a two-week trial they could try out and they could test it out. If they liked it, then we'd upsell or then they could purchase a, a full bottle. And so we added that. We had that as our second exit pop. And this is kind of what it looks like right there. They can basically, they can, they can test out, see if they qualify for a free sample, and if they do, we'll ship them out a sample bottle of Neurocell, and, uh, and they can test it out and see the effects by themselves. And this is what our sales funnel currently looks like, and again, that's kind of the anatomy of a half a million dollar a month sales funnel. Now, for you guys, obviously, you've got different products, different services, but you need to look at the layout. This layout is what's working for us. It's very similar to the layout we use in our information marketing businesses uh, and other businesses as well. Okay. Now, the one big um, issue that a lot of people talk about when, when they look at this and look at a sales funnel, they start thinking like, this is awesome, Russell, but how am I going to build that out? Like, there are a lot of pieces, a lot of pages, and there's, there's shopping carts, and there's you know, all this, this stuff that goes into it. How do we do that? And for us, for years and years and years, we have three people on our team that would build these things out for us. The first person we have is a designer. Okay? The designer is the one that comes through and makes the pages look beautiful and makes them uh, kind of look the way that, that we want. Now, a typical designer on the low end is going to cost you about $50,000 a year. Okay? So there's one, one cost. The second person we need on your team is a programmer. A programmer is the guy who takes these beautiful pages and he slices them up, he puts them on the internet, he connects the shopping carts and the autoresponders and, and all these pieces and makes it so when somebody buys this, it takes them here, and if they buy this, it goes here, and that's what the programmer does. Now, a programmer typically on the low end, you're going to be paying about $80,000 a year to hire a programmer. Okay? And then the third person we have on our team to help make this all work, because like I told you, our sales funnel at first wasn't converting awesome. We weren't making that much money, but he went in and made these little tweaks and changes and changed the headline here and, and added this block right here and, and just did a bunch of split tests. That's our analytics person. Now, a typical analytics person is going to cost you anywhere from sixty to $80,000 a year um, to have someone on your team to do that as well. So for us to build this funnel and any of the funnels we build, there are three people and you can see how much money it's actually going to cost to have all three of those people on our team. Now, for a lot of you guys, I'm sure you're looking at this and saying, wow, I want my own funnel making $500,000 a month, but I don't really want to hire a programmer and a designer and an analytics person. And you take all three of those salaries alone, you're looking at $180,000 to $190,000 a year to be able to create and maintain a sales funnel like this. And it adds up. It's expensive. And that's how it always has been for our company. For years, we've had to rely on an entire team of people to build these things out. And most people who are just getting started are people who have a business and they don't have the, the revenue to have a huge overhead and all those kind of things. They really struggle and we always did as well and so that's why we developed and why we created click funnels it's a very simple way for you to literally replace your designer replace your programmer and replace your analytics person in a very simple and easy to use software that as you can see from what Mandy's doing right now it makes it very easy to create your entire sales funnel by just clicking them out